my name is Kelly Hisong. I am a child passenger safety technician and I work for the city of Tecumseh as a police officer. And I'm here today to go over a few tips on how to install a car seats into your vehicle and how to properly restrain your child in your vehicle. So all children under the age of four need to be in a properly need to be properly restrained in a car seat in the rear seat of the vehicle. So we like to see children rear facing for as long as possible. So you will see on the side of the seat there are some instructions. Um, there's also an instruction manual that comes with every seat. And that will tell you what the upper limits of, are for that seat. So for this particular seat, it can go rear facing until your child is 40 pounds or, and 40 inches. So we like to see them rear facing until that time, um, but at least until age two in a rear facing position. So for this seat, this seat does go both forward facing and rear facing. For a rear facing seat, you can use either the latch that comes with the seat or you can use the seat belt to, to buckle it in. So the latch will have anchor points in your seat. In the seat bite, you'll see little bars. Those are your anchor points for the latch strap that comes with your seat. Or like I said, you can use the seat belt. Either way um, works well. To attach the seat to the vehicle, just hook these onto the anchors or slide the seat belt under the butt of the seat so it would be rear facing and at that point you buckle it in and you want to tighten that up until you cannot move the seat more than an inch so you'll have to put a little pressure down on the seat tighten the buckle up go ahead and, and grab the side of the seat where the belt goes through and try and pull if you can pull more than an inch it's too loose and you need to tighten it up a little bit more okay to buckle the child into the seat for a rear facing seat these straps need to be at or below the shoulders so there are various slots in these seats you need to pick one that is at or below the shoulders and adjust the straps accordingly go ahead and buckle the straps in and you want to tighten these straps to what we call the pinch test so the pinch test is at the shoulder. If you can pinch material of the strap, it's too loose. So you can go ahead and tighten that up a little bit more. And then this chest clip needs to be at armpit level. That keeps the straps from falling off the shoulders. So we wanna make sure that that is buckled and put at armpit level. So Xavier here is, is good to go. We would buckle him in at a recline rear facing in the back seat okay as your child grows of course you're gonna need to uh, adjust the seats accordingly once your child reaches the upper limits for a rear facing seat you can go ahead and turn them around forward facing like I said not before age two we like to see it go even longer if possible okay so at that point we can do a forward facing seat to attach a forward facing seat, we, we also have the latch. So the latch belt or the seat belt would go behind the seat in through this belt path, okay? The other thing we need to add is the tether strap. So you're gonna buckle it in, get it tight to that one inch so that it doesn't move more than an inch. And then you're gonna attach this tether strap. This st strap, in uh, sedans will hook onto a, an anchor point on the back deck or if you have an SUV or an open vehicle it's usually on the back of the seat you need to check both your vehicle manual and the manual for the the car seat to ensure that you get it in the right position because we don't want to hook it onto a cargo tie down or something like that that is not meant for that so make sure you get the actual 
tether attachment, okay? For children in a forward-facing seat, we're going to move the straps. We want the straps to be at or above their shoulders now. So they're going to go up into a higher position. Buckle them in, same pinch test at the shoulder. If you can pinch material, it's too loose. Go ahead and tighten it up. Chest clip at armpit level. And the child is nice and safe in the seat. So Annie is good to go for her seat. Once the child reaches the upper limits of this seat, this seat does go to 65 pounds with the harness. We wanna keep them in that harness for as long as possible. A five point harness is the safest way to travel. If we could all travel that way, it'd be awesome, but we can't. So once uh, they've reached the upper limits of the five point harness, then we transition into a booster seat, okay? child should stay in the booster seat until they are about four foot nine is when a seat belt actually starts fitting the child properly so we want to keep them in the booster seat for a, as long as possible um, like i said until about four foot nine and then we can transition into that seat belt so the law says that only the children under four need to be in the back seat, but the back seat is the safest place for a child, any child. So please keep the kids in the back seat. Keep them properly buckled up in an appropriate car seat. And if you need more information at all on this, um, if you're in doubt on whether or not your seat is installed correctly, you can contact any child passenger safety technician. There are, There is a list on... Uh, the safekids.org website where you can find a child passenger safety technician in your area. We also have a Facebook page for the techs in our area, car seats in South Central Michigan. This Facebook page will tell you if there's any car seat check events coming up in our area. We cover Hillsdale, Lenaway, and Jackson counties. We do have one coming up on September 26th at the De Tecumseh Police Department from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. You can come on in, we'll check your seat out, we'll help you get it installed correctly, make sure that the child fits properly, and take care of any issues that, that you might have, answer any questions that you have. We're always here to help.